Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm doing a detailed review of the new Soundwave Santro over-the-counter hearing aids. Coming up. Over-the-counter hearing aids are officially a new category of hearing aids as of October 17th, 2022, thanks to the new FDA guidelines. One of the first available over-the-counter hearing aids is called the Santro, which was developed by an American company called Soundwave Hearing based out of Oak Brook, Illinois. The Santro is a small receiver and canal and self-programmable over-the-counter hearing aid thanks to the Autotune smartphone app. While this hearing aid is new to the over-the-counter hearing aid category, it has existed for the past several years as a direct-to-consumer hearing aid, so Soundwave Hearing has had the opportunity to evolve this device over time. In fact, a few weeks ago, I published a different video where I was talking about the companies that would be leading the way with over-the-counter hearing aids going into 2023, and Soundwave Hearing did make the list. Now, if you like what you hear in this video review and you decide to give the Soundwave Santro over-the-counter hearing aids a try, I will link my website, hearingup.com, in the description of this video for you to go ahead and purchase them. If you decide to purchase them any Anywhere else online, just be aware that there are counterfeit over-the-counter hearing aids that are going to start cropping up everywhere. But before I get into my review of the Soundwave Santro over-the-counter hearing aids, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really lets me know that you want me to make more detailed review videos of these over-the-counter hearing aids. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos and I release multiple new videos every single week. With that out of the way, I really appreciate it. And I'll let's go ahead and get into some of the disclaimers for these hearing aids. Disclaimer number one, the Santro OTC hearing aids are truly an over-the-counter hearing aid that are intended for a perceived mild to moderate hearing loss. So if you actually have a hearing loss that is more significant than mild to moderate, these devices will not be appropriate for you. Disclaimer number two, even if you do have a mild to moderate hearing loss, your performance with these particular devices will depend on how well you can self-program them or have a hearing care professional program them for you. Disclaimer number three, if you have any of the following red flags and you need to immediately consult with a licensed audiologist or a physician that specializes in the ears because it could be a sign of a serious medical condition. These red flags include visible congenital or traumatic deformity of the ears, history of active drainage from either ear within the previous 90 days, visible evidence of significant earwax accumulation or foreign body inside the ear canal, pain or discomfort in the ear, acute or chronic dizziness, history of sudden or rapidly progressive hearing loss within the previous 90 days, or unilateral hearing loss of sudden or recent onset within the previous 90 days as well. Disclaimer number four, if you try the Santro over-the-counter hearing aids and you do not perceive a significant improvement in your overall hearing ability, it does not mean that hearing aids won't work for you. It just means that you likely need prescription hearing aids that are set up by a hearing care professional who follows best practices. To easily find a hearing care professional in your area who follows best practices, make sure that you check out my website, hearingup.com, to find a Hearing Up network member near you so you can experience the difference that exceptional hearing care makes. All right, now on with the review. The Santro over-the-counter hearing aids come in at $999 for the pair. You can only purchase them as a pair. You cannot purchase them individually, and they come in two different colors. You have a beige color and a gray color. Like I said before, this is a receiver in canal hearing aid. It does have dual microphones it has a push button control for increasing and decreasing volume. It uses a size 312 disposable battery and it comes with a size one receiver wire on it initially. If you ultimately determine that you need a longer receiver wire, you can use the measuring tool to determine which wire length is correct for you and the company will send you a free receiver wire in your proper length. They also come with open domes, closed domes, tulip domes, and power domes. Proper dome selection is very critical when you're programming these devices. Just make sure that you do not lose any of these particular domes because at some point in the future, you might need to switch to a different style. All right, let me show you what they look like when I put them in my ears. So right off the bat, I can tell you it gives you a nice startup jingle when you close the battery door and it will verbally tell you which program you are actually in. So I've got the right one in, get the left one in. In terms of the overall build quality, I mean, it's what you would expect for devices that cost around a thousand bucks. It's not spectacular, but it's not horrible either. In terms of what they feel like behind my ears, they are pretty comfortable. They are a little bit on the thicker side for a size 312 disposable battery 
receiver and canal hearing aid. And as far as the overall comfort and fit of them, I feel like it's decent. Uh, they do have retention filaments that you can put on these receiver wires to make sure that they don't work their way outside of your ears, but I think they look pretty good as I'm wearing them right now. I definitely like the gray color myself, but some people would prefer the beige color. It seems like the length of one is really good for my ears. That is pretty much how you want that to fit while you're wearing these particular devices. Now, I cannot express how happy I am that they decided to go with the receiver in canal design. I am not a big fan of the slim tube designs, which you commonly see out there in the direct-to-consumer hearing aid world, but those devices, in my opinion, are mostly a joke. So if you're going to be getting an over-the-counter hearing aid, make sure that you go with one that has a receiver in canal design. If you would like additional receiver wires, you can purchase additional ones from Soundwave. You can also purchase additional wax traps and domes. These devices are Bluetooth compatible using the Autotune smartphone app, which will allow you to do an in-situ hearing test, as well as use it as a remote control to make adjustments to your hearing aids. This Bluetooth, however, unfortunately does not allow you to stream audio directly from your smart device into both of your hearing aids. So if you're looking for that type of capability, these hearing aids are not right for you. And like I mentioned before, these hearing aids do not have a rechargeable option. You have to use a side 312 disposable battery, which is not the end of the world because 312 batteries are very common and they're very easy to change in these devices. Soundwave Hearing also gives you a 45-day return period, so if for whatever reason you do not like these particular over-the-counter hearing aids, you can send them back to Soundwave Hearing for a full refund. If you decide that you do like them and want to keep them, you will have a one-year warranty from the date that you purchased them. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the Autotune smartphone app that is available inside Android and Apple devices. We'll start by taking the self-administered in-situ pure tone air conduction hearing test located in the My Hearing tab. Right off the bat, the app makes sure that your environmental noise levels are quiet enough to ensure that you get more accurate results when taking the test. Basically, when the test starts, you will hear pure tone beeps through the Soundtra over-the-counter hearing aids, and you will indicate if you hear them and in which ear by tapping on the left or right button on the screen. This test only takes a few minutes, and I highly recommend that you take the test even though it is not required to use these devices. The good news, after taking the test, the app gave me a warning when it detected that my right ear was significantly worse than my left ear, which it is, and it appropriately recommended that I see an audiologist or a physician. The thing that I did not like about this particular hearing test is that you could hear a clicking sound before a pure tone was presented. So even if you could not hear the pure tone, you could hear the clicking, which made you be aware aware that there was a pure tone being presented after it. So what I recommend is that you try to ignore the clicking and wait to see if you actually hear the beeps. Unfortunately, this is a pretty big flaw inside of this particular hearing test and hopefully Soundwave will fix it in the future. Now, once you are done with this particular hearing test, the Santro over-the-counter hearing aids will automatically first fit program themselves to what they believe that your hearing loss prescription is. After this, you can go into the app and make further adjustments to the programming of your devices. This includes the ability to adjust both hearing aids together or separately, increase or decrease overall volume levels, customize three different programs including quiet, noise, and entertainment, make adjustments with a three-band equalizer for bass, mids, and treble, as well as adjustments for noise reduction and feedback cancellation that can be adjusted in each one of these three different programs and saved for future use. The automatic program will automatically switch between quiet, noise, and entertainment programs based on the acoustic environment that you are in. If you do not want these hearing aids to automatically adjust based on the environment, then you just have to go in and manually set whichever program you want to be in. The programs are pretty self-explanatory, if you're in a quiet environment, you're going to be in the quiet program. If you're in a noisy environment, you're going to be in the noise program. But the entertainment program might be a little confusing to you, but that program gets triggered when it identifies music in your environment. As far as how well the Santra over-the-counter hearing aids amplify sound based on your unique hearing loss, the only way to evaluate this is to perform real ear measurement. If you still do not know what real ear measurement is, then you need to watch my real ear measurement video that I will link in the description.
option because it is the only way to ensure that you receive the maximum amount of benefit from your over-the-counter hearing aids or even your prescription hearing aids. To test the Santra over-the-counter hearing aids, I enlisted the help of my assistant, Bree, who has a mild to moderate sensorineural hearing loss. After having her take the in-situ hearing test through the Autotune app, we were able to measure whether or not these hearing aids were capable of meeting her NAL NL2 hearing loss prescription. Now, to be fair, the Santra over-the-counter hearing aids do not use an NAL NL2 prescription. They actually use a FIG-6 prescription, but with my modern testing equipment, I'm not even able to verify a FIG-6 prescription, so I'm going to be testing it with an NAL NL2 prescription. To perform real ear measurement, we placed probe microphone tubes into Bree's ear canals along with the Santro over-the-counter hearing aids. Then we played a calibrated ISTS signal from a speaker in front of her and measured how much amplification was inside of her ear canals after going through the hearing aids. This allowed us to see if she was receiving enough amplification to meet her hearing loss prescription. The red hash mark curve represents her NAL NL2 hearing loss prescription for average level speech based on her clinic audiogram. The red solid curve represents the amount of amplification she is receiving from the Santro over-the-counter hearing aids at the initial first fit amplification settings based on the Autotune hearing test. Ideally, we would want to see the solid red curves overlap with the red hash mark curves as closely as possible, indicating she is receiving the proper amount of amplification from the Santro over-the-counter hearing aids. As you can see, she is meeting her prescription up to around 750 hertz, but is significantly under-amplified throughout the mid and high frequency ranges. Each of the default programs, including quiet, noise, and entertainment, all have the exact same initial frequency response based on our testing. Now, using a green curve, we started to make programming adjustments inside of the Autotune app to see how close we could get the amplification levels to her hearing loss prescription. After a considerable amount of adjusting the three-band equalizer, we were able to meet her prescription significantly better up just past 3000 Hz. While the programming still was not perfect, it was considerably better than before we started making adjustments, and this was achievable using an open dome. I also wanted to see how well these devices amplified for soft level speech, which is indicated by the pink curves. As you can see here, the Santra over-the-counter hearing aids are significantly under-amplifying soft-level speech, and you would likely need to use the volume control to increase the volume whenever speaking to a soft-spoken individual or speaking to someone at a distance. Now, to give you some perspective of how well the Santra over-the-counter hearing aids could be programmed to match our hearing loss prescription, compared to a prescription hearing aid, the solid green curve represents the Santro programmed optimally, and the solid purple curve represents a prescription hearing aid programmed optimally. Since prescription hearing aids have up to 24 equalizer bands as opposed to the three inside of the Santro devices, you can match a hearing loss prescriptive target much more precisely. While the Santra over-the-counter hearing aids did a decent job, you can definitely tell that the prescription hearing aid was able to match her hash mark prescriptive targets much better. Through this testing, I was also able to identify what frequency ranges the bass, mids, and treble adjustments actually adjusted for. The bass adjustment controlled all frequency ranges from 250 Hz up through approximately 3000 Hz with a peak around 2000 Hz. The mids adjustment controlled the frequency ranges between 2000 and 6000 Hz with a peak around 3000 Hz. And the treble adjustment controlled the frequency ranges between 6000 Hz and 8000 Hz, but ultimately provided minimal amplification at best. When it comes to the programmability of the Santra over-the-counter hearing aids, I have to be honest, for a pair of $999 over-the-counter hearing aids, I was relatively happy with what I was able to achieve with these devices, even though it was far from perfect. But my testing of these over-the-counter hearing aids did not stop there. I also wanted to check out a couple of the other features, including directionality, noise reduction, and feedback cancellation to see how well these features actually worked. To test directionality, I compared the amplification differences when sound was coming from in front of the hearing aid to the amplification levels when sound was coming from behind the hearing aid. In the noise program, I could tell that sound originating from the front was amplified more than sound originating from the back, which is a good thing if you're trying to focus on speech coming from in front of you and not speech coming from behind you in a noisy situation. 
In the QUIET program, it was clear that Soundwave Hearing used an omnidirectional microphone configuration since there was no significant difference to amplification levels no matter where the sound was originating from. To test noise reduction, I measured the amount of noise reduction with this setting turned off and again with it turned on. Noise reduction is a hearing aid's ability to reduce steady state background noise, including fan noise, car engine noise, or even speech babble in a noisy restaurant. What I could tell was that no noise reduction occurred when noise reduction was turned off, and approximately 9 to 11 decibels of noise reduction occurred with this feature turned on. As far as noise reduction goes, this is an acceptable amount for devices at this price point, and you should definitely notice a difference between toggling it off and toggling it on in a noisy environment. To test feedback cancellation, we use the trusty old just cupping your hands over your ears to see how much whistling that you get, and what we could tell is that there was no significant difference with this feature turned off and this feature turned on. So if you're having issues with your hearing, it's whistling on you, you're either going to have to go with a more occluding dome, like a vented dome, or one of the power domes, or you're going to have to reduce your overall amplification levels. So what are my overall thoughts on the Santra over-the-counter hearing aids? Well, I have to say that for an over-the-counter hearing aid, I was pleasantly surprised. Are they as good as a prescription level hearing aid? The answer to that is clearly no, and it's no by a long shot. But for the price point that these over-the-counter hearing aids are at, they are definitely worth it in my opinion. The most important piece of information that I can tell you about these hearing aids is that I think that they significantly under-amplify sound based on your initial hearing test and first fit settings that they give you inside of the app. This means that you're going to have to play with the programming to likely increase the volume significantly or you're going to have to take them to a hearing care professional so they can verify the program settings inside of your ears using real ear measurement. If you do order the Santra over-the-counter hearing aids from the link that I have in the description, then I will be sending you additional resources to try to help you set up your devices better. If you ultimately do not receive a significant amount of benefit out of these hearing aids even after working with a hearing care professional to optimize them, then the writing is on the wall. Over-the-counter hearing aids are not going to be appropriate for you, and you need to return them for a full refund within the 45-day return period. That being said, the Soundwave Santra over-the-counter hearing aids did perform well enough for me to consider them the first Dr. Cliff approved over-the-counter hearing aid. So whether you're on the fence about treating your hearing loss or you're just trying to figure out which over-the-counter hearing aid gives you the best chance of success, I highly recommend that you give the Soundwave Santra over-the-counter hearing aids a try. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, hearingup.com. Oh,